Television City in Hollywood, the always controversial Morton Downey Jr. From Major Dad, Shanna Reed. Renowned horror film director, Clive Barker. Making his national television singing debut, Webb Wilder. And another look backstage at the Grammy. Plus Tom Scott and the band, along with me, Dan Miller. All here tonight on the Pat Sajak Show. Ladies and gentlemen, Pat Sajak. Electrifying some of those chairs was a good idea out in the audience there. Uh, nice of you to be here. Glad you're with us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I just noticed a big improvement. This show continues to improve. If it's any more improved, we're going straight to the Smithsonian next to Archie Bunker's chair. Look at this. We have apples here. We had a... Oh, look at this. Isn't that nice? Are these real? See, we had an empty bowl, and now CBS has gone hog wild and bought fruit for us. We're very excited. Mmm. All right, very good. Can we have oranges tomorrow? Those are great. Yeah, we'll have different things every day. It'll be a lot of fun. Anyway, welcome to the show. Among our guests tonight, excuse me, is, uh, <laughs> wasn't all that good. Uh, mm, they bought bad fruit. Uh, who's here? Oh, Morton Downey Jr. is here tonight. And uh, sure, you can applaud that. <laughs> Actually, this is now the, uh, this has been out for a long time coming. It's the kinder and gentler Morton Downey, and uh, he's kind of changed his image. He said he would, and he has. I saw him backstage. He was nice, he was polite, a stage hand got in his way, and he said, would you please excuse me, you scum-sucking pig. It was a very... <laughs> I just made that up. Uh, why, in fact, you want to meet Morton now? Would that be a good idea? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, he is, um, what is he? He's a singer, he's a songwriter. He is always controversial, but now he has a new talk show on television, and, ladies and gentlemen, He's a movie actor as well. Uh, please welcome the multi-talented Morton Downey Jr. Yeah, I like the new set. You like this? It's good. I was up. The wall's nice. You just haven't carved the names in it yet. No, that's right. It's, it's lovely. Now you. Uh, now the, I heard a noise as you came out. You you sort of created this noise on television. This kind of ooh 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 noise that has uh, sort of haunted television. Now, where did that come from? Why did uh, you... When I first walked out on stage, uh, they said, "Here's Morton Downey Jr." I hadn't been on television before, and the audience went, "Ooh ooh." ooh. Is that basically it? Yeah, I, I see. Do you care for an apple, Mark? <laughs> They're really bad, and they match that your socks. That might be as sour as that last line. It might be. I well, frankly, I doubt it. Uh, may we may we ask about and I mentioned movie roles and people might think we're kidding around here but you're in films now you're in films yes uh, out here uh, right now as a matter of fact uh, doing uh, Predator 2 <laughs> I assume you play the title role <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no wrong no what do you what what are you in? what are you in this what be you in this I movie? play uh, Tony Pope who's a uh, Geraldo Rivera tough street reporter mm -hmm. And, and, Geraldo uh, Rivera tough? I don't know. <laughs> you think you could take Geraldo in a fair fight? Could I take Geraldo in a fair fight? I, I asked you first. It would automatically wouldn't be fair if I was fighting. <laughs> okay. Do you, do, now, what, uh, is this a, is a big role? Is this a... Uh... Well, it's a, no, it's a reasonable role. It's a, uh, <laughs> a reasonable role. I get a single frame credit. I think that's what they call it. Oh, but that's good. Really, of the, uh, of the eight stars in the show, I'm the ninth. Well, that's all right, but it's a start. Would you, do you, you like doing films? Do you oh, like I love it, yeah. Them? It's it's quite interesting. I get to be a nice guy. Yeah. Now, do you I walk... get beat up twice. Do you? Which well, is definitely method acting. It's kind, of, <laughs> kind of a catharsis for the audience, I would it's think. It's kind of a catharsis for the guy who beats me up. Yeah, I would think so. Now, our, now I've read... Hey, Tom, how you doing? <laughs> Tom's enjoying this. Uh, I read... Behave, Tom. Uh, I read that one of your... I would think, speaking of movies, if I were to guess your favorite films, I would guess Rambo or something. But somebody told me that your favorite film, one of your favorite films, is The Wizard of Oz. Is I bet this that true? was one of your producers. Yeah, it did. Boy, is this, you, you is see, it? you believe your producers and you always get the bum information. Is this true? Yeah. You is. like this movie? Yeah, I love The Wizard of Oz. Do you, have yeah. you seen it a lot? Uh, let me see. It's been on CBS, I think, every year on television every year except 1956. Is that a fact? Uh, I think that's a fact yeah. ever since... Uh, 
television was really going. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I loved the movie. And, uh, now, CBS had a big part. You know, they aired the movie, I guess, on this very night, tonight. Just and, aired it right before yeah. we went on. And uh, uh, they showed, so I guess, some footage that had not been seen in the original, yeah. in the original they had film. Yeah, an hour special. And they had a big party last weekend. Sunday. Sunday, and I was not able to go to this thing, but lots of big stars were there. Did you go? Yeah. Yeah. And did you, did you meet? Did you schmooze? Are you doing that yeah. Hollywood thing? Yeah, of course. I got uh, Hello, how are you? Nicely. <laughs> you know, who, and everyone went, who the hell is that? No, no, no. Who, who are the big stars you met? Who are the big stars? Oh, I met uh, Jessica. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jessica. Jessica. I met somebody. Angela Lansbury. Angela right, Lansbury. Hello, Jessica. Yeah. And, uh, of course, John Forsythe, who's fabulous. And yeah. uh, Lindsay Wagner. Now, what's your favorite scene from The Wizard of Oz? I think the favorite scene uh, that I uh, have of The Wizard of Oz is... Uh, when that house is just swirling around and this little girl is wondering if she's going to live through the accident and it's all black and white and you open the door and here is all this magnificent color facing it. Yes, because yes. in 1939, when you were born, uh, this was, you, you were yeah, born. Yeah, yeah. In 1939, color was not that familiar. I mean, it, this was magnificent to come from black and white and step into color and it's something they do now. Yeah. Now, do you have any uh, fun facts about The Wizard of Oz? A lot of trivia involved with this uh, thing? I assume well, you not know really. Some. I guess uh, the only fact, uh, you know, there's a mention of a bug in there, in The Wizard of Oz. Something, uh, I think the Wicked Witch of the West mentioned something about a bug. And what happened was there was an identification of that bug because it was a new dance they were introducing in that film that they pulled out later on. And it was called the Jitterbug. Right. They, didn't they shoot the scene and everything? Yeah. And it never Shot made it the to scene, the pulled it out. The Wicked wis uh, Witch of the West uh, got badly burned uh, in that fire when she was supposed to disappear. Mm -hmm. uh, little, little known facts of no you know, interest to, whatsoever. You ought to do a kid show. Uncle Morty does. It would be kind of nice. You'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, you little twerp. I like twerp. kids. You, do you really? I like kids. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I love kids. Well, good. That's good. Now, well, we're going to take a break. When we come back, I, with some things I want to talk about. I want to talk about Andy Rooney. Would you be willing to do I'll that? I'll do that. Uh, yeah. I want to talk about Donald Trump when we come back? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. No, I'll talk about anything. This looks like we're really reaching, but, you know. <laughs> no, it, what would you rather talk about? No, I like, I like no, to you, talk you about picked, Donald and Ivana. You just Ivana insulted and the, fact, the host's choice oh, of no. subject matter? Insult you? God, I would do that to you. <laughs> please. Please, I'm, I, I'm fear, I have the, God put the fear in me that that's going to be seen on the promo tonight, so don't, don't do that. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll take a break and be back with the Morton Downey Jr. I, I almost guarantee it. Stay with me. I mentioned, the only reason I mentioned Donald Trump was not to go for the sensational, but uh, I assume you know the man because you, you've worked at uh, Trump's uh, hotel, right? I do. I know Donald. I know uh, Ivana. And, uh, you know, they're just, they're normal people who are having a marital, marital difficulty. It just happens to be millions of bucks involved. And how sick the press is, unfortunately. Not the press. How sick we are that we allow the press to run our soap for us every day on the front page. There's other things more interesting in life than their divorce. Did you ever, did you ever think you were exploiting people on your show seriously when, when, when uh, there, there was some criticism of the old show? And, and did you ever feel like that as you look back now, that, that you were putting some people well, through some things that you shouldn't yeah, have Yeah, I did, publicly? but what I was doing was I was exploiting the exploiters. It's what I usually tried to do, people who had exploited other people, uh, whether they had ex exploited the poor or the blacks or the blue collars, I tried to bring that out so that they had, a, they had their comeuppance of a day. Now, are you, on this new show you're doing, this is on CNBC, a uh, cable CNBC. outlet. Uh, are you, uh, what kind of, kind of show, what kind of Morton Downey do we see there? Well, you see, uh, you see Morton Downey just like you see him right here, except uh, once in a while, if there's that baloney that keeps creeping through when you're talking to a guest, then they don't uh, level with you, you'll see me uh, get up close and personal. Uh, what you'd mean... Uh, the, the, the theatrics are there, you think? Yeah, there's, there's the theatrics there, if I can. It, it's amazing. People will come in brave as can be, and they sit down, and the minute that television camera goes on, they're going to tell a lie. They, they, they come on with the greatest feeling of telling the truth. And the minute the camera goes on, they realize, there's millions of people out there. I better cover this and color a little bit. Well, I don't want them to do that. I want them to tell the bare-bone facts. Mm -hmm. Is there, is there the, the rowdiness that there was? Is There's an audience, and my audience is, uh, I don't consider rowdy. Uh, this is a fun audience. Yeah. They're noisy. Yeah. 
Uh, there's other well, shows. We, we sedate them before they come in. That's, that's, that's the difference. Well, imagine here. what they'd be like if they weren't sedated. Imagine, I mean, that, yeah. That's, 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 that's an why we do it. Audience. Yeah. I looked at your audience. It's a lot of young people. Mm -hmm. People who really haven't been interested in what's going on in the world until uh, shows like yours and mine and uh, others of the nature of oh, come along. Oh, you don't have to lump us all together. We appreciate it. All right, like shows that. like yours. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I mentioned another guy before we went to commercial, and that was, uh, that was Andy Rooney, who's yeah. in a little, little trouble here at this network. Uh, you have any thoughts on, uh, on the whole uh, Rooney situation? Well, you know, I get in trouble every time I open my mouth, Pat, so let's go for it, all right? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for it. Since when has the accusation unsubstantiated carried more weight than the denial and that's what we're setting up here we're setting we're setting it up so that every nutcake in the world can say pat sajak said to me on the telephone yesterday that he didn't like one-eyed armenians and all of a sudden all the one-eyed armenians call cbs and you're gone even though you say i, I never said that i didn't know there were any one-eyed armenians yeah. well when the accusation carries more weight than the denial, then we've lost our, our First Amendment, our freedom of speech. Okay, I, I, that's fair. That's fair. Sure. Do you, uh, do you watch much television? You mentioned Geraldo. And we, we, that, that kind of, what, what it's called, I don't know what you, what you call it, uh, sort of tabloid TV got to be the sort of cover name for some of the shows that are on. Do you... I, I don't watch tabloid TV much. I watch, uh, the only tabloid TV I watch is 60 Minutes and 2020. Mm -hmm. I watch those. Yeah. Uh, and they, I, they, they I, are some of that. They do. Of some course. Of they're the original. They're the original tabloid TV. But I watch, I'm a news junkie. I watch, uh, I watch all, every news program I can see on television, including keeping a set uh, running on CNN and HNN. What, I'm not sure what HNN is. Headline news. Oh, oh, yeah. headline. Yeah, I didn't. I never heard it referred to as HNN. What? See what you learned by doing this. Like exciting. Yeah. Now tell me about your love life. What's happening here? Tell me about this woman and uh, what's going on. And same uh, love life I had a year and a half ago, except uh, now we've uh, uh, now we're mates, and I don't mean on ships. You're mates. Yeah. Now we're now we're one. Okay. Does that mean you're married? Well, married is a word that uh, says you can marry a marriage of words, a marriage of things, marriage of spirit and soul. Uh, yeah, in that sense, we are. <laughs> but you know something? How many? I, 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 I got to tell you, any Laurie's, idea what the hell he's talking about? <laughs> Lori is very private. I yeah. mean, even though she's an actor, she's a very private person, and she doesn't. I don't want to end up uh, on the front pages, or her to end up on the front pages, uh, like a la Donald Trump. All right. So, okay. so that's our private life, and we'll try and keep it private. Now, would you, if you were in my place, would you accept? Would you have just accepted your answer? No. Of course not. Now, how would you have followed up on that? Let's just say I just said my private life I is private. I, your private life private. is private. Are you embarrassed to admit that you are married to that woman? Is there something about that woman that we don't know, or you don't want us to know? Why don't you tell us what you know about that woman that this audience would like to find? You know, with, at, the, at this angle, you're a very attractive man. <laughs> Don't say that. It's liable to end up on a promo. Thanks, Moore. We'll see you later Thanks, on the Pat. show. Morton Downey Thanks, Jr., folks, stay right there. We'll uh, take a break, and we'll be right back. Ooh, ooh, ooh.